Crash and Burn Marriages, a shocking buzz cut, and life as the OG Fat Shamee. This star's been through hell, but here's why her heartbreaking stories got a silver lining. Ricky Lake married her first husband, illustrator Rob Sussman, in 1994. The couple had two sons, Milo and Owen, and the marriage lasted for nearly a decade. But as Lake revealed in her 2012 memoir, Never Say Never, Finding a Life That Fits, the marriage was on the rocks since day one. She recalled, "...my marriage to Rob had begun to unravel even before we had the kids. Rob had always struggled with mood swings, but the more successful I became, the more his ups and downs worsened." The same year they were married, Sussman admitted he had an issue with Lake acting as the breadwinner, telling people, "...it seems really unhealthy and emasculating. I don't want to become Mr. Ricky Lake." The couple divorced in 2004. Lake has been proactive in advocating many different causes over the years, but fans may be surprised to know that her work on behalf of AIDS awareness stemmed in part from losing her grandfather to the disease. She explained to CNN, "...my grandfather died of AIDS back in the late 80s, so I'm personally, obviously, connected to this disease and wanting to find a cure." It's still prevalent worldwide, and it is you know, we are at a point where we can turn it around." Lake opened up about the subject again in 2015, while promoting her documentary Treatment for All, which focused on universal access to HIV and AIDS medication, she shared on Sirius XM's Sandyland, "...my grandfather died from a blood transfusion when I was making hairspray in 1987. He didn't know what he died of because of the stigma. You didn't talk about that back then." Lake revealed in her memoir that she was just six years old when she was sexually abused by a handyman her parents had hired. Noting that her mom was also home, she wrote, "...during his frequent work breaks, our handyman would lead me down to the extra bedroom in our basement. He touched me, and he made me touch him." And I finally told, and, and they fired him, and that was it. It was never discussed again. The trauma stayed with Lake for years, impacting everything from her comfort in her own body to her relationships. It wasn't until Lake had children of her own that she began to heal. As she told People, I was able to look at my body and see what it was able to do and embrace it, sort of let go of all the body image issues. In 2012, Lake found love again when she married jewelry designer Christian Evans. Ever since they started dating in 2010, Evans had been open about his bipolar diagnosis. Lake shared with People, "...he had a lot of self-esteem issues and a lot of demons. But I understood him, and he was someone that I think a lot of people misunderstood." I've learned so much. I mean, I've, I've learned how powerless we are with this disease. Referring to him as her twin flame, all was well until Lake witnessed one of Evans' manic episodes in 2014. She recalled, "...he thought he could fly. He thought he could cure cancer with his hands. It was horrific. He just wasn't the person I had been with for four years." Lake eventually filed for divorce. The couple remained together while Evans attempted a recovery, but he would ultimately take his own life in 2017. Lake took to Instagram to share the heart-wrenching news, writing, "'Rest in peace, my love.'" Fans have likely seen Lake sporting a shaved head in recent years, but the edgy look was actually a response to her ongoing struggle with hair loss. In 2020, the actor revealed that it's been a challenge for her for more than three decades. She claimed that bleaching her hair for hairspray had damaged her scalp. She also blamed crash dieting, hormones, pregnancies, stress, and genetics. As Lake explained on Instagram, "...it has been debilitating, embarrassing, painful, scary, depressing, lonely, all the things. There have been a few times where I have even felt suicidal." over it. Two years later, in 2022, Lake finally came to terms with her androgenetic alopecia. As she told Entertainment Tonight, "...it was coming to this place of, I'm okay." I can finally be truly me, and I, mm. I actually, I don't think I look that bad. You don't look I that kinda, no. I like, no. I like my head. And as she tells it, once she truly accepted her reality, her hair began to grow back. I was introduced to this business by being fat. That's what got me my first job. Lake struggled throughout her career with yo-yo dieting and low self-esteem. And in her memoir, she pinned her fluctuating weight on the abuse she endured as a child, writing, "...some people say that packing on the pounds can suffocate your sexuality, and this was certainly true for me. I believe the reason I wanted to feel that way was to block out what the handyman had done to me when I was a child." Along with candidly sharing her story, Lake seems to have faced her demons head-on in order to truly live her best life. And as she says, she's found her person in the process. In 2022, she married corporate attorney Ross Burningham, and from the looks of it, they were always meant to be. As she told People in 2021, "...Ross and I literally pinch ourselves that we have found each other at this time in our lives. We are filled with gratitude and joy for what is to come." It's like, be careful what you wish for, all my dreams have come true. 
If you or someone you know needs help with mental health, please contact the Crisis Text Line by texting HOME to 741741. Call the National Alliance on Mental Illness Helpline at 1 800 950 NAMI 6264 or visit the National Institute of Mental Health website.